Well, Dixie, you've, uh, you've written autobiography as well, so I believe that it's being launched on November the 4th, is that right? It is, uh, 7 o'clock on Friday night on the 4th of November in the 1873 suite, which is on the Mould Road. Uh, obviously, everybody's welcome to come, and uh, if they do come, I'll obviously sign a copy of the book for them. It'd be a great chance to hear a few fantastic memories, because you've got a few tales to tell, haven't you? Yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, I've said it's been a long book in a sense, but it's uh, no. I mean, I, I had such a wonderful time here. I think we all know that. I think everybody knows what I feel about the club, uh, and it's an honour, if you like, and a privilege that somebody's wanted to do that because it came out of the blue. Uh, I think it's slightly different when you're Joey, who I've been speaking to today, Joey Jones. You know, where he's been um, a Welsh inter international, and uh, I'm still, if you like, a Welsh half Welsh born Englishman. So. It, it, I'm looking forward to it because, as I said, there's lots of stories about the old FA Cup run that we had. Uh, obviously, winning the Football League here that season, which was incredible. And a few ups and downs on the way. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and a few getting sent off before penalties and that sort of thing as well, I'm sure. Oh, I'm, I'm, sure I, I'm sure I mentioned that somewhere, <laughs> somewhere along the line. But, uh, yeah, I think that's one of the, uh, perhaps one of the most... Uh, I don't think I'd be beat, will it ever? You know, I'd probably hold that record as the only player to be sent off taking a penalty that's ever occurred in the football league. But uh, yeah, Gwyn Pierce Owen, that was the <laughs> referee from Bangor. I'll never forget his name. <laughs> and of course, as, as manager here, that was that was hard. Different times here, really, well, wasn't it? It was. I mean, I think you you were aware of it. I mean, we had no money. It was still brilliant uh, being the manager of the football club. I think I say in the book, you know, one of the great things was didn't know matter where we'd been. If we got beat, I always got, if you like, my confidence back or whatever you wanted to call it. As soon as we hit the roundabout at the top of the mold road off the uh, dual carriageway and you looked at the football ground and you say, well, I'm the manager of this football club. What a wonderful stadium we have compared to the likes of some of the other clubs, if you like, in the old fourth division. Mm -hmm. And of course, you, you couldn't uh, stop the bug of playing. So you came in as a sub when you were a manager as well, didn't you? You've got too good a memory, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah, your bad I, secrets. I, I think that was not counting the FA Cup. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I came on for the last quarter of an hour. I think everybody knows it. I think it was documented at the time that uh, I forgot to take my false teeth out. I had to go back to the bench and give us a George shower. But uh, yeah, it was nice coming on. Pity I couldn't have changed the result that day. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I like to think they've uh, had some kind of impact on the football club and the fans and as I said I just had such a brilliant time while I was here. Well you certainly have had an impact on all of us and uh, we recommend certainly 4th of November get down to the Mould Road for the launch which is a rare opportunity and if people don't manage that I believe you're in Waterstones on the 5th as well. Is We're that right? in Waterstones on the Saturday I think that's 11 till 1 o'clock. No. Uh, again if you're out and about the wives and you haven't gone to York and I'm sure we'll take a massive following mm -hmm. to York uh, same thing please come down buy a book it might be for your auntie or your uncle they're about my age and they're, they're the ones that will probably see me play but uh, I think they'll enjoy it anyway it's the ideal stocking filler everybody well it is I think I think everybody thinks that about books and as I said uh, at least a lot of people in the town will know me so they can perhaps reflect on that they've probably all seen me in the pubs at one time and they're having a drink uh, so no it would be nice doing it yeah.